without even preparing me or breaking it to me slowly. They were like, your wife hired a hitman. She wants to have you killed. And we got to go fake your death right now. An agent posing as the hitman John hired has already met with Valerie to discuss payment for the job. There was a form of payment with $7,000 in gold coins. Now they need to provide proof of Isaiah's death to John Daruba, who is standing by in on the plan. And they took me over to the, to the marina near my house. And they had me sit in my car and they had me fake my death. They put glass all over me and all over the floor. And they had me hunched into the passenger seat. And they took pictures of me. So now I'm uh, presumed dead. It was uh, the most surreal thing I've ever been through in my life. What's crazy about this case, um, that when they call the wife and they let her know, hey, you know what, your husband passed away after they faked his death, she gave a Grammy Award winner fucking performance, you guys, because this lady literally was crying, screaming, I mean, shaking. If you would have seen it, y'all, you would have thought her husband really died. And it's sad because you hired a hitman on him. Didn't even think he knew. Didn't even know that he was a part of this whole fucking thing. You know what saddens me the most? Imagine if he this whole time was madly in love with her no matter what they were going through and this is how she was repaying him the whole time. This is what I mean about people like that's what's sucky and crappy about love is you can be in love with somebody and never know their intentions the whole time and you could have the best intentions for them. Well, in all reality, they have the they're trying to put a hit out on you. Dude, what? That's why I tell you guys, pay attention to who you get with. Because if you're with somebody that you're not paying attention to them, studying them, seeing how they are when they're upset, seeing how they are when they're at their lowest, you could potentially lose your life over somebody who's had no intention of being with you the whole entire time. Choose your partners wisely. If you have to stay single until you read body language better and read people better, by all means do that. But the last thing you want to do is be in a relationship and be in situations like this. Especially as a man, you guys lose so much. And I feel like a lot of women don't understand that. So this is like so sad.